Hi everyone. Today we're going to learn another two useful regular expression functions which are occurrences. And find occurrence. Occurrences return the count of how many times such pattern occurs. It comes in handy in some cases. And find occurrence helps a lot when you want to return a specific occurrence in the text. As you may be noticed in my previous videos I'm using the prefix py to all functions that I've shown you. To make the difference between Excel built-in functions and my custom functions or UDF functions. Well, occurrences function has three parameters. Text and pattern are mandatory. Flags parameter is optional. And find occurrence function has four parameters. Text. Pattern. And occurrence are mandatory. Flags parameter is optional. By default, the flags parameter is nothing. As promised, I've added a shared PDF file link in the description section below. To show you step by step how you can build these functions, you will find everything you need to know in order to use them. Without wasting more time, let's get started. Well let's start with the occurrences function and take the first example. I'm passing the phone number format in the regular format. So I've got two matches because I don't have the same format for all phone numbers in the text. If we jump to example number two. Here I'm passing the complex format that can recognize and match the other phone number formats. So I've got four as a return which means I have four phone numbers in my text. Example number three. I want to know how many email addresses I have in the text. As you can see I have four as a return. If you don't get the correct number, be sure that your pattern is missing something. And it needs to be updated. Example number four. I want to know how many Gmail addresses I have in the text. As you can see, it's easy to be specific and return only the result you want it. Example number five. This time I want to know how many com email addresses. Example number six. I want to know how many email addresses that have less than two characters at the end. Example number seven. How many spaces in the text. Example number eight. How many letters at lowercase. Example number nine. How many letters a uppercase. Example number ten. How many letters a case insensitive. Example number 11. How many spaces, points, and commas altogether? Example number 12. How many times the word number? Example number 13. In case there is an error. Now let's move to find occurrence function. And take the first example. If you look at the function syntax. I'm looking for the first occurrence or match of the word and case insensitive. The same for example number two. I want the fourth match of the letter D, case insensitive. Example number three. 
I want the second match of the word phone, case insensitive. Example number four. I want the fourth email hostname case insensitive. Example number five. I want the first phone number in normal format. Example number six. I want the third phone number in the complex format. Example number seven. I want the first email from Yahoo or Gmail domain name. Example number eight. I want the first com email address. Example number nine. And the last for today's video. In case there is an error. Only this time it returns a message showing the length of the list result. This video is the last one of regular expression functions. As I mentioned earlier. I've added a shared PDF file link in the description section below. Just follow the steps. And if you have questions, please don't hesitate. I'll answer them as soon as possible.